Yo, swinging and banging on the ones and twos. Allow me to introduce myself to you. I am Kendrick Avant, the agent of gratitude. And what I do is exemplify how a life of gratitude completely changes your perspective, makes you a better person, improves your communication, all types of amazing things. And it starts with a gratitude journal. So today I'm telling y'all about the manifestation journal, not even the gratitude journal. And a manifestation journal is based on Nikola Tesla, who says that if you write down your goal, as soon as you wake up three times, write it again six times in the middle of the day, and then write that same goal nine times before you go to bed, three, six, nine, and you do that 21 consecutive days, whatever goal you're writing about will come true. And it's not one of these things where things will magically happen. The way I explain it, and I haven't even successfully done it, is that as I've been trying to do this since early August, it gets in your head, man, and you're constantly thinking about that goal. And if you're constantly thinking about that goal, then you're thinking about ways to achieve that goal. And if you're thinking about this goal morning, noon, night, I mean breakfast, lunch, dinner, nonstop, eventually you are going to run into some kind of thought, some kind of plan, some method that would get you from wherever you are to that goal that you're trying to get to. And in my manifestation journal that I want to show to y'all, because I'm the agent of gratitude and I like to exemplify things, taking y'all to today. So today, I am starting over with my manifestation. And as you can see, I have been trying to do this all week. I even have dates. Day one, made it to day one. I'm back on day one. I even have dates with this. And as I flip through, and you can see, yo, man, I have been trying to do this since early August. And you can see, this is a good day. I got my morning. I got my afternoon. I got my night. And the next day, morning, six times, I must have messed up at night. On this day, I made it the whole time. But then the very next day, I only got the morning. I got the morning and lunch. I got the morning and lunch. Made it the whole day. Only got, only got, only got the morning. Made it the whole day. Made it the whole day. So that was two days in a row. And I could just do this and just show y'all. You would think. In 2021, in the age of cell phones, look at this. This is a whole, this means I made it four days in a row. Add that in. That's eight days in a row. I was rocking and rolling. And at some point, like you already saw, I messed up. Look here. Didn't get it there first. Then I was rolling, rolling, rolling. The week before. Boom. You can just see, you can see my gaps and everything. And the story I want to tell y'all is that most recently, because this goes all the way back to August 9th of me trying to do this every single day I'm on this. I might, the furthest I have made it is 10 days in a row. And that was the big, you saw my stuff. But the story I want to share to y'all about this manifestation journal is this. I most recently changed my manifestation, my manifestation. And I wanted to manifest a career making 10 thousand dollars a month because my wife has said i gotta make eight thousand dollars a month in order for us to make this trip move overseas do the ecuador lifestyle bounce around country to country because your boy is disabled and i want to spend the last years whatever i can do moving around i want it to be in other countries and exploring things and taking my kids around and just living life before i gotta go to their bed and be stuck in that bed for the last 10 years of my life. So my wife has talked to me. She says, yeah, we got to, you got to make at least 8,000. 8,000, I can get my ends. Boom, we're ready to rock and roll. We can take the kids and do whatever. We can leave stuff here for the kids, all types of stuff. But we need 10,000. So I put that in my manifestation journal. 
I've gone a few years without even having a job. So I am so grateful that I even have a job now. I got this job. I do customer service, Medicare, Medicaid, stuff like that, telesales. And I've had I've been doing this since last September. So it's not one year. It's, it's officially one year. I went two years before this and didn't have a job at all. I have a master's degree. I'm a former teacher. But people see you come in with this wheelchair. People see you come in with this illness. And that great conversation that you had over the phone suddenly goes out the door. But so in my manifestation journal, I put, I want a job. I will make 10000 a month. That's all I did. First day, boom. Second day, I had just written it at lunchtime and I got a phone call from a random number. And if you're like me, you don't even answer the call from random numbers because you know it's going to be them people calling you to tell you that that 1997 whatever car you have outside, the warranty is about to expire. And now you got to, yo, the people blow your phones up about a warranty on a 20 year old car. So either way, I knew it was going to be them, but I'm bored to answer the phone and it ends up being an interviewer named Michael who I haven't applied for the job. He ran across my LinkedIn profile and felt I would be a great fit based on my personality for a job he had to offer. We're talking about things. He asked me one question. First question, how do you overcome challenges? You kidding me? How do I overcome challenges? So I went all into the gratitude journal. I, I mean, I, I tried my best not to talk too much, but I was crunk. I was excited. The gratitude journal, the different career changes from teacher to real estate to insurance to this work from home stuff. Tripped out about it. He said, yo, man, that was an amazing answer. I don't want to answer it. I don't want to ask you another question. I'm simply going to pass you by me and push you to the next level of this job. He said, but I want to ask you before I do this, this job I'm talking to you about, content editor, I can only offer you between $100,000 and $150,000 a month. I mean, a year, $100,000 to $150,000 a year. And I can't determine where you would be placed in that, in that, in that price range. Is that something that we need to discuss further before we, before we go? Nah, dog. Between a hundred and a hundred and fifty thousand a year? You kidding me? You shouldn't be. That's exactly the number that my wife just told me two days ago. That's the number I'm writing in my manifestation journal. I was so crunk on that, man. Yes, push me. I'm ready to go, accelerate stuff, blah, 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 do stuff. I missed writing my manifestation that night. I didn't write it ex as excited as I was. And I'm trying to keep it inside. Excited as I was, I, I missed writing it that night. That phone didn't ring the next day for the second interview. And it's not anything that you want to say to yourself. Yo, you missed your manifestation. You must have messed up that opportunity. You can't think like that because you have to keep going with the new one. The whole point of this this happened on Tuesday. It is now Friday. And I have not, every day I think about this, and I still have not made it a single day writing my manifestations three times in the morning, six times in the middle of the day, and nine times before bed. Every single day since that phone call on Monday, I have messed up and missed the night. I messed up and missed the lunch at one point and just gave up and just said, I'll start again the next day. That's the power of this manifestation journal. It's keeping your mind away from the negativity. It's keeping your mind focused on the goal. And damn it, it's making you think about how to achieve things you want to do. So if you don't want to rock a gratitude journal, get your manifestation journal. And if you have a gratitude journal, Get your manifestation journal. Find you something to manifest because it's 2021 and we can all be better. Yo, be grateful. Your boy is out.